Now's the time, ladies and gentlemen, to roll that Carl's Jr. ad. Made a lot of waves because of those, you'll get to it in a moment. Yes. Uh, Bikini-clad ladies, CKE restaurants, Andy Puzda. He's, he pushes the envelope, and he's here today, right here, in the studio Where's on the a video? Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, Andy. I mean, those are provocative ads. We didn't even get didn't to them yet. We will. Bad, okay, really. we will. <laughs> okay, we will. We <laughs> will. Did, did you run a little risk here? I mean, those are heavily sexual ads. They're provocative ads. And you're a conservative guy. Your politics are conservative. Don't you ever think there might be a, a sort of a pushback from, the, from your clients because of what you're showing in your politics? Well, everybody, everybody in business has to have a demographic target that they're aiming at. For us, our focus is young, hungry guys. We call, that, we call them young, hungry guys. They're 18 to 34-year-old males. And you want them to pay attention to the ads. And uh, we don't have any nudity in the ads. There aren't any sex acts. There aren't men and women even together right. generally in the ads. But attractive, beautiful women in bikinis get men to watch these ads. Yeah. And that's exactly well, I, what we I They sell the, burgers. I so. got the sexuality side of it. What about the political side of it? You are a conservative. You appear frequently all over Fox taking a conservative position on various issues. Does that worry you? Well, I think the American people, look, this is America. You're allowed to have an opinion on politics. Yeah. So I think if I talk about politics or economics, it's different than when people, when CEOs come in on social issues. In other words, they're, they're, one, of our, one of my fellow CEOs got in trouble for commenting on gay marriage. Right. That, that's different, I think, than trying to explain to people why a particular policy might have uh, good implications or bad implications from an economic perspective. If business people don't get up, if we don't get up and speak and explain to people how these policies that the government is implementing work, then they're not going to know. You're not going to get that. And so I think, I think people on both sides find it valuable when business people speak. They may not agree with them, but I think they find it valuable. Okay. How do you feel about the current Republican field where 63 percent of the vote in a recent CBS poll went to people that I would call outsiders. That would be Trump, Cruz, Fiorina, and uh, Dr. Ben Carson. How do you feel about that? With so much of the support going to people who are not politicians, you're a political guy yourself. How do you feel about that? I, I'm concerned because the, while those, while those uh, candidates do well in the Republican primary, I really don't care who wins the next Republican primary. I, I become a one-issue voter who can win. And when you look at these, these outsider candidates, when, they're, when the polls put them up against national polls, put, put them up against Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders, they do not do as well as candidates like, George, like um, uh, Jeb Bush or, or Marco Rubio. And that's a problem because we're, we're not going to win this election if we're the bigoted, anti-woman, anti-immigrant party. And sometimes you get comments like that that's how you that are very popular. Trump. That's how you characterize Trump. I, I think Mr. Trump would make a, a, a certainly a much better president than Barack Obama. I'm not opposed to him being in the race. Sometimes he says things that concern me, not for winning the nomination, but for winning the presidency. And we have to win the presidency. This isn't about who the next Republican candidate is. This is about who the next president president of the United States is, and they just don't do as well in those polls up against Democratic opponents. I've got just a few seconds left. Can you say for sure that those bikini-clad women actually bring <laughs> more young, hungry men into the uh, Carl's Jr.? When we run an ad, sales go up. Is that, that's, that's you can measure it. You, you can just absolutely see Absolutely the fact, yes. <laughs> and we run it almost every show. <laughs> and we are. appreciate There's it. There's the ad, actually. And I, and I brought you go. coupons this time. Yeah, okay. I said I would. I that did. was the payoff. I got some coupons. <laughs> I got some for Liz. Time. I got some Sales for you guys, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy. Thanks for joining us, Thank as you. always. Good to see appreciate you. Appreciate it.